Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Today I'm running Manjaro Cinnamon Edition in a virtual machine. And I installed it back in January. So I've gone all this time without using it and without updating it. So I'm going to go into it and update it and see how it goes. So this is my Manjaro Cinnamon Edition in a virtual machine. And what I'm going to do is open the terminal. I'm going to make it full screen. And I'm just going to type in this command. Last. And as you can see, I created this virtual machine and installed Manjaro on it on January 3rd of this year. And today is March 3rd. And you can see the last time I was in it was January 21st. So it's a month and a half, two months since I've done an update. So, let's get to it. I'm going to clear the screen. I'm going to type in sudo pacman syu. And I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to ask me for my password. I put my password in. And it's saying there's two key rings to update. Now let's just check the time. It's 6.33. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till 634 and start right at the top of the minute. So we'll start at 634. And I know when it installs the key ring, there's going to be 380 packages to install. So ready? It's almost there. There we go. Let's hit it. And installing the key ring. And it's just taking a moment. And I'm going to say yes. Let's go. It's doing some more. And now it's ready to install the packages. So let's just see what how much we're installing. 388 packages to install. Wow. Let's see how fast this is. Now remember we started at 634. So let's go down. Let's hit enter. And let's see how long it takes. Now of course Manjaro is based on Arch Linux. And the packages don't come directly from the Arch Linux repository. Uh, what they do is the packages come from the Arch Linux repository. And they take them and put them, the Manjaro team takes them and puts them in their own repository. And they hold them back for two weeks. And what they do is they hold them back for two weeks to test them and for stability. And then after two weeks, they release them. And then when they release them to the people who are using Manjaro, so the packages are coming directly from the Manjaro repository rather than directly from the Arch Linux repository. And that's how it works. So because they hold them back for two weeks, and every two weeks or three weeks, they do a, a major update. So, for instance, if you're using Vanilla Arch, there's updates every day. Every day, there could be 5, 10, 15 updates to do. And on my main production machine, I do, I'm using Vanilla Arch. So I do updates every day. Every day I update my system on my main production machine. And it uh, only takes a few seconds to update it because I update it every day. Sometimes there's five, 10 updates to do and so forth. But what Manjaro is doing, because they're holding the updates back every two to three weeks, maybe four at the most, but two to three weeks, they do a major update where they release 100, 150 packages in one shot. Now, because I haven't updated this system since January, early January, there's 388 updates to do. But you can see it's going pretty fast. Uh, we started at 634, so we're almost at three minutes. But you can see, look at this. We're almost done. I can't believe how fast this is. And as a matter of fact, I used to live in Manjaro. Now I live in Vanilla Arch. But back in the day when I used to live full time in Manjaro, I remember the updates were always very fast. And as a matter of fact, I think Manjaro updates faster than vanilla pure Arch Linux. So uh, we're at three minutes and uh, I hope people watch this video. I know doing an update is not the greatest type of video to do, but uh, I just thought I'd do this for the fun of it. I was going to do an Arch update on video and I just said let's do Manjaro because I haven't been in it for quite a while. 
So you can see it's moving pretty fast. And of course, I decided to do the update in the terminal rather than Mac. And uh, if you don't know, Mac is the GUI software system or the, the GUI package manager that Manjaro created. And you can use in here if you don't like using the terminal. And I believe you can also download and use Pimac in Vanilla Arch if you want to. But I don't have it installed in my Arch system. And as we can see, it's going pretty fast. We just passed the four minute mark. So I think this is gonna finish at the five minute mark, which is really not bad for certain 88 packages. After this is finished, I'm going to uh, do a reboot to see if it works, if it reboots into the system and if anything was damaged. Just to make sure nothing was damaged and I'm sure it wasn't. So, so it finished. It's 641 and a half. So it took seven and a half minutes. And that's a bit long for an Arch or an Arch based system, but considering there was 388 packages to install, download and install, that's really fast. So now I'm going to reboot. And hopefully the system isn't broken. And I doubt it. I'd be very surprised if it was. So that's not bad. Seven and a half minutes for 388 packages. Now, if you're using Manjaro or another Arch-based system or pure vanilla Arch, you shouldn't go so long without updating it. Like I said, uh, my vanilla Arch system, my main production system, I update every day. Anyways, there it is. It's at the pass where it did. Rebooted really fast. And I didn't pause the video while I was rebooting. But I did pause the video while it was updating because uh, I ran out of things to talk about. And I just thought just watching a system update might make for a boring video. So it's just booting into the system. And then I'm going to close the video. Here we are. The system worked. It didn't break. So I just updated my Manjaro virtual machine after not having used it for since January. So everything worked. I hope this video wasn't too uh, boring. Watching a computer system update isn't the most exciting or interesting type of video to do. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I am the Linux Mensch.